And now, Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Eric Ash. Our recent rains and our coming warming trend has been and is going to continue to keep these rivers flooded, the Portneuf and the Blackfoot River. Now, by Monday, it is also expected that the Big Lost River by Howe Ranch near Chile near past Mackey is going to be bankful conditions by Monday or Tuesday. So that is something to take caution with. Snake River Plain today, temperatures will be in the upper half of the 60s, 70 degrees for Idaho Falls, 69 for Pocatello. We're gonna have calm to gentle winds. We will have a slight breeze in isolated locations here and there up to about 14, maybe 18 miles per hour. Southeast Highlands will be in the lower part of the 60s, 59 for Soda Springs, and then for the Central Mountains, we've got 60s and then mid-70s mid for chalice and salmon. Moving over to the eastern highlands, we've got 60s and 50s as well. 53, the coldest uh, for Yellowstone. Finally getting out of those 30 degree high temperature days. For the overnight hours, for the Snake River Plain, our low temperatures will be in the 40s. Only Rexburg and St. Anthony will stay hanging out in the upper 30s here. And then for the southeast highlands, we've got 30s, low 40s for Incom and 41 for Preston, 42 for Incom. Moving over to the Central Mountains, temperatures will be in the 30s and low 40s in the Eastern Highlands, mostly in the 30s. We have below freezing temperatures for Jackson, Afton, and Yellowstone. Yellowstone, the coldest at 24 degrees. Tomorrow, Saturday, for the Snake River Plain, we're gonna bump up even more so in temperature and be more, even more uh, above average for this time of year. Pocatello and Idaho Falls both have a high of 75 degrees. For the Southeast Highlands, cooler temperatures in the 60s, but we do have low 70s for Downey and Preston. For the Central Mountains, we are going to break 80 degrees, 81 degrees for salmon. That is the one location breaking 80. The rest will be in the 70s, Stanley at 69. For the Eastern Highlands in the 60s as well, and Yellowstone barely making it 260 with a high of 59 degrees. Now we will look at the Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. Pocatello, a high temperature of 69 today, bumping up to 75 tomorrow. And then Sunday is going to be the warmest day of the forecast period for Idaho and, Wy and, and Western Wyoming, about 10 degrees above average, 78 on Mother's Day for Pocatello. For Blackfoot today, we have a high of 67, getting up to 73. Now Monday into Tuesday, we have a rip of low pressure sweeping down through Idaho from Montana and that's going to provide rain showers Monday into Tuesday. It is not expected to be widespread and it is going to also bring breezy conditions as well. Idaho Falls up to 70 today, 78 on Mother's Day. For the Central Mountains getting up to 69, 69 today and then 74 tomorrow. Mostly sun or a complete sun weekend. Mother's Day 76 degrees. Again that's that's going to be the warmest day of the forecast period. And then for the Teton area, a high temperature of 60 degrees and will stay in the 60s for the first half of the period. Back to you, Deanne.